right, so for today's repair, we are going to be replacing the quick release valve for the air brakes. It's right here. Let me get it out here, show you what it looks like, and then get up underneath. And so that's what she looks like right there. The one on here has been. Um, Leaking air out the bottom of this constantly, so every time when we park overnight and I shut the truck off, I lose all the air out of the air system. It's one of the last places I've noticed I'm starting to get an air leak from. So that's what we're gonna replace. All right, so this is the part right here that we're wanting to replace. Like I said, it's leaking air from the bottom down here. And this is a um, quick release valve um, for the airlines. So, got all, and this is the one that sits um, right before the drop axle. So, I already got the landing gear down, got all the air out of the system. Um, so now I'm just gonna start by removing the air lines and then the two bolts up here at the top that hold it on to the bracket there. And then um, once we get the old one off, um, clean up these fittings and then put it all back together. We got all the new fittings. Luckily they had all the compression fittings that I needed. And then two new bolts and some. Um, this one's seized in there and ain't coming out. So all I gotta do is, um, they didn't have this um, T-fitting that I needed um, with the two female ends and the male end. So I'm gonna attempt to get this off, hopefully without a whole lot of trouble get it cleaned up and then we'll get the new part and then we'll start putting everything back together all right so we got got the old one off got it cleaned up and we're just gonna stick some Teflon tape on this threaded end here since the other fittings that go in it already have um, some thread lock on it so Teflon tape and we'll start putting it all back together
there with the new sleeve on and slide it in to where it's nice and tight and again tightness on nice thing about these compression fittings like this is you don't have to put any teflon tape in the threads when you go to tighten this down because once this um, starts to compress it tightens down on the line and doesn't allow the air to leak out Goes and delivers out. 
sides. Sure, I'll build back up. I'm gonna come back underneath here. See if we hear any audible leaks. And I think we're doing pretty good. I don't hear any air leaking out. But when you would shut the truck off, um, you know the constant air leaking out of here. And at first, it was just like a tiny little bit. And then it progressively started getting worse and worse to where we'd shut the truck off. Within several hours, it'd already be down to 90 or less in the PSI. So I knew definitely that this needed to be replaced. But um, no air leaking. And that should do it. And I don't hear any air from anywhere else. So. Um, it's just, and it, it's kind of like one of them things with, you know, airline leaks, just like with hydraulic leaks when you have a, this truck's 14 years old and, you know, not a whole lot of things have been done to it. So what happens is, is over time, when um, you start repairing parts that are bad in the system, other, you start getting fails in other sections. So you're, you start tracing things from one place to another. Kind of like with hydraulic brakes, you replace a line or um, brake caliper in one place, and once that pressure starts building back up again, you find a weakness in another part. So um, this may be, uh, I may get lucky and um, don't have any other further issues, or um, further down the line, we wind up developing another leak somewhere else since the pressure's built back up. Now I did notice since I was underneath here, I was able to do some looking around. These airbags ain't looking too healthy on this drop axle. Um, it's got a pretty good split in it. And the other one looks about the same. So I have a feeling down the line, and these are the airbags that help keep the axle up in the air. So um, once the air builds up, these expand and it lifts the um, axle up in the air. Um, worst case scenario, um, they blow. I have to cap the supply off to them and we have to run with the axle down all the time. We get back home, I'll, um, I'll go ahead and replace both of these airbags on both sides and I may not only just replace those two for the to make it go up, the two on the back side that put the pressure down on the axle um, are looking a pretty worn too. And these get the most use since 
Um, if you don't run with your drop axle down a lot, these are the ones that I always have constant pressure to it because it's keeping that axle up in the air. So these see a lot more use than the ones that keep the axle down. So this is, I mean, these airbags are probably the original airbags on a 14 year old truck that has 300 and I think we got 364 on this now with a trip out and um, come in out to California and back out. So um, that's probably going to be our next repair here soon. But you know, this whole time and I'm not hearing any leaking, so I'm going here and check my air gauge and see where it's sitting at. Um, and I'll be back in a few. All right, so come back in here to check the gauges. They are right around about where I, when I shut the truck off, um, is where they're at. They may have creeped down just a hair, and I may have a slight, small one somewhere else I'm just not hearing. So, um, we'll see how she does overnight when I go to start it back up in the morning. And like I said, when I showed the picture of that airbag back there for the drop axle, um, that might be the culprit. It might have a small leak that I just, I'm just not hearing in the bag. But we'll see what she does overnight. And then I'll have a better idea.